This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to get started with our application. Remember, we have a workspace in Apex which serves as a container for all the design elements, pages, buttons, links, that belong in the application. And we can actually have more than one application in that workspace. But we're going to use Application Builder in Apex to create an application. We will add a logo to our application, which we'll find the option for that in Shared Components. And we will create a simple form. So I'm going to log into Apex as one of the developers. Uh, actually, before I do that, let me remind you, we have a workspace called Animal Shelter, Animal Space Shelter. We have an administrative account, AS underscore admin. We have two developer accounts, if you made the same accounts I had. And then I have a testing account that has just the rights of a regular user. Whatever we do in the application is held here in Apex. But that Apex workspace allows us to connect to the actual database, which is animal underscore shelter in the database software. Now I log in. I'm logged in as Mina. I'm going to go to Application Builder. I can click here or here to create an application. I want a new application, and I need to type in the name. I'm going to call it Daily Operations, and we will have a home page as well as a login security page. I'm taking the default appearance, this layout, this color scheme. You have a couple of others. You might want to change to something else, and you can see what mine looks like versus yours. But I'll stay with the default. I'll scroll down and click Create Application. So now I have an application, and I see the home page and the login page. When I first, during a session, click Run Application, I'm going to have to log in. So I'm going to click that, and it's prompting me to log in. I'll log in. Notice there's no workspace prompt here. I'll just do Mina Mendez and her password. So this is the home page. Not much here right now because we don't have any forms or reports. But I would like to replace this with a logo or a picture. It's really just a picture of text. Notice in this environment that you, you're in a development environment. Let me shrink this up just a little bit. So you see this below, which allows us as developers to edit the particular page we see here, or to go back to the application, or to go home and application builder, and some other things that we might look at later. So I'm going to go back to the application as a whole. I don't need to edit this page just yet. I'm going to then go to Shared Components. And I'm going to go to Application, Definition, Attributes. We'll talk more about some of these other menus in later videos. What I want to do is alter the user interface. And I want, instead of having this text, I want to have an image. You know what? But I just realized I have to first come back here to Application, Shared Components, and I need to upload the image that I want. So I wasn't quite ready to do that. You can upload images for a specific application or across the workspace as a whole. I'm going to do a workspace and upload. And this should be in the zipped files that you had and unzipped where we had all the scripts. I'm going to go locate that file. And it's this right here, Animal Shelter Text. So I'm going to bring that in and upload. And notice this reference here. I need that. So I'm going to copy that. This is how we can tell Apex where to find this file. 
Now I go back to my shared components, application definition attributes, user interface, and then I'm just looking at the user interface settings. I'm going to say image. So I had to pause here. I usually, I don't do this very often, so I'll put it here and logo attributes and that's not right. I'll put it here. I'll talk more about this syntax in future videos, but basically the pound signs say that this is going to be referenced within the workspace and it's under workspace images and this is the file to look for. So I apply that change, then I run my application and I won't have to log in again. So now I have the name of the application, daily operations, but I have animal shelter in the application title bar. So that one other thing I want to do is create a simple form. But before we do that, we need to come back to the data model because you don't just automatically put a form on every table. Some of these tables can stand alone, as in be in a simple form. Others, it makes no sense to look at the data unless you see it with a related table. So if I'm looking at activities, for example, notice it's on the many side in a one-to-many -many relationship. This by itself has very little meaning to me. But if I show it with animal, for any one animal, I see the list of activities, that is meaningful. However, animals, we could look at each individual record on animals without seeing the related data, and it would still be meaningful. So that's what we'll do. We'll create a simple form for animals. So again, I can get back to, actually I've got a tab up here for Application Builder, but I can click it here, and I will do Create Page. We have these options. We want a form, and we've got a lot of options, several that we'll look at but right now I want a form on a table with a report. So I click Next, and Apex will automatically number the reports for us. Sometimes I'll change those, but right now I'll take the default. Notice we have a report page number. That's one page in the application, and a form page number. That's another page in the application. So on the report, I'm going to say list animals. And here I'll do animal data. I'll click Next. I do want to create a navigation item in my home page. Then I say what table I want to work with, and that's going to be the animals table. We have the option of not displaying all the fields. So there are situations where we wouldn't show every field in the table, but right now, by default, anything on the right-hand side will be part of the report and form. So I'll leave that as is. If I wanted to take something out, let's say animal ID, I could move it back over here, but I want that there, so I'll put it back. Now it's at the end, so I can move it to the very top again. So let me go back just quickly. So what this does is gives us the option of showing the columns in the table in a different sequence in the form. We'll just take what we see here. Do we want the form managed by row ID or primary key? I'm going to start with the primary key. And I keep saying form, but the previous screen was for the fields in the report. That's not interactive. The form itself, everything's over on the left-hand side. Now I can just click to bring everything over to the right-hand side. I want to use the primary key. That's what identifies each row uniquely. And then I will get the drop-down list, which is off your screen, and I will select Animal ID. So we see that here. This does use an existing trigger. And I'll create... All I'm going to say right now is we have this page designer interface and we will use this many times in the future videos. So we have three sections. This is where I come to change properties in the uh, interface. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and then run this. And so what we now see, if I click Home, is I see the home page and then I see List Animals. This is a report where you automatically get several nice features with this report. So I could say that I want to see 
Chihuahua and hit enter. And then I have filtered all the animals to only the Chihuahuas. I can come up here to take that off. This links to a form where I can actually edit the data. So here we've got Pitbull, name is Tori. I click the pencil and I'm looking at Tori's individual record where I could actually come in here and change the data. So we've got an application. We have a logo in the title, we have a home page, and we have a report with form. We've got a lot more to do.